face? Oh. Yeah, sure. oh, no. How's it going, Philip Leonard here at JTEC. Uh, today we're going to go through automatic transmission clutches pack. So in this route, there are going to be three sets of clutch packs, and a general rule with these is a friction disc does not go against a spring plate, and you have to alternate friction and steel through all the clutch packs. And then, like I said, not good footage, adding somehow the footage of the inspection of the disc got lost somehow uh, so I'm just gonna try and explain as best as I can with friction disc uh, inspecting wise make sure that the material there is not all tore up or burnt any kind of gouging uh, bent cracks uh, and same with the steel plates uh, there could be evidence of heat damage cracks on the teeth so just do an overall inspection so getting into building the clutch packs in this drum, uh, we start off with our first one, which I believe is our overdrive. Uh, after that is in, like I said, alternating friction and steel, we're going to put in our sprag, which only allows it to go one way, uh, usually clockwise. Uh, we're just gonna shake the out of it and jiggle it down until it splines with all the friction discs. After that pack, we put on a reaction plate, followed by our first spring plate. And again, alternating the friction and steel, friction and steel, until this set is done. Then it's capped off with a backing plate and then secured with a snap ring. And then one more pack goes in, uh, same reaction plate, friction, steel, friction, steel, until again capped off with a backing plate and snap ring. Um, you're going to ensure all these different, all these packs have different setups with the teeth along the ring. They really can only go in one way to work properly. So that's it for this 4L60E clutch pack. Uh, apologize again for the lack of footage. Don't know what happened. Uh, hope I made some sense. Thanks for watching. I'm Phil Wainhart.